Good, Good morning, morning Bulldogs. Bulldogs! We'd like to send a huge congratulations to our May Student of the Month, Finn Joyner. Finn's academic achievements include taking nine AP courses, being named an all-academic student athlete and scholar athlete for all sports he has participated in each year, and holding a tremendous 4.79 GPA. His plans for the future include attending Butler University in the fall to study political science. Congratulations on this achievement, Finn, and good luck with your future plans. We only have eight days left until of the ABC countdown. Tomorrow we are putting on tie-dye to finish the week. On Monday we are rocking shirts and sweaters from our favorite universities. On Tuesday we are throwing it back with for Vintage Day and then representing the Wild West on Wednesday. On Thursday we are getting a little extra. On Friday we are focusing on Y2K. Check out the Grant Instagram account or the daily announcements for a full list of themes. Prom is tomorrow. If you are planning on attending, remember that no absences, tardies, or passes off campus will be excused. Any student tardy to school or absent from class will not be allowed to attend prom. Buses will be leaving Grant around 5.30 p.m., so make sure you are here before then to catch your ride. If you have any questions, reach out to Ms. Hiley or Ms. Krambus. For more prom information, check the main page of the Grant website. Last week, Grant was well represented at the NLCC Art Show, and we had 10 students designated as distin distinguished artists. Congratulations to Nikolai Gardner, Isabella Podgorski, Malia Hen Henriot, okay. Elaine Wilson, Addie Dams, Alex Georgeman, Fiona Carson, and Aviance Aviance Baylog, Kaylee Brook, and Alex Ross. Their artwork is currently being featured in the display case outside the senior commons, so make sure to check it out. Seniors, don't forget to pick up your graduation materials during lunch today. If you missed today's pickup, stop by the main office. Boosters need your help covering shifts in the concession stands. Check the announcements for their sign-up link and volunteer today. Our Skills USA competitors hit the road for Peoria last week and came away with three top 10 placements. Congratulations to Charles Shaw for taking third in industrial motor, motor control, Cohen Diedrich for taking fourth in industrial motor control, and River Legaza for taking sixth in culinary arts. Environmental Club is collecting shoes for Swallow Co's re reuse the shoe drive and needs your help. If you have any unwanted shoes, please drop them off in the blue recycling bin located near the main office. Our band program filled the auditorium with wonderful music Tuesday night for their final performance of the year. It was a great night for all and the perfect way to send off our musical bulldogs. Congratulations on a successful spring concert. Our choir members are performing in their final concert of the school year on May 14th. Join them in the auditorium and enjoy a night of wonderful music. Check their Instagram page for more information. Our varsity baseball team took on Rolling Meadows over the weekend and defeated the Mustangs 5-3. In their final series game against Wakanda, our Bulldogs pulled out a win, 8-5, in their first series game against Antioch. Our Bulldogs took down the Sequoids 3-0. Boys Volleyball hosted Antioch last week and earned, their, earned another program sweep. Cheer tryouts for the fall season are next week. Join the program for their pre-tryout meeting on May 6th at 5 o'clock p.m. in the lecture hall and for their open gym on May 8th in the West Gym. Tryouts will take place on May 10th and 11th in the West Gym. Check the daily announcements or their social media for more information and reach out to Coach Kelly with any questions. Boys Basketball is holding a program meeting on May 7th in the Commons to discuss the summer season and program expectations. If you're looking to join the program, reach out to Coach Bosworth for more information. Today, our varsity badminton squad is heading to Vernon Hills for sectionals. Baseball is going up against Antioch. Boys varsity track and field is competing against teams all over Lake County. Softball is going up against Grays Lake North, and tennis, soccer, and volleyball are taking on lakes. Good luck to all of our Bulldogs competing today. You got this. If you are competing in a grant sport or are interested in trying out something new, head to the Athletics website and check out their summer camp information. Don't forget that we are following an early release schedule tomorrow. All students will arrive to their first period class by 7.40 a.m. and the day will wrap up at 1.35 p.m. Well, that's all from us this week. Have a great day, enjoy prom, and remember to keep it red, Bulldogs!